Janet from Try It Like It Created and today I am working on a quick and easy Christmas card in July. So what I have in front of me is a bunch of uh, Christmas scrapbooking paper scraps and you could use wrapping paper, you could use patterned paper, you could use your scraps, you could use um, your jelly paint plate printing, um, pretty much anything for this card um, using a Christmas theme. And what I've done here is I have cut down the pieces um, to one inch by one inch square. And I have those off to the side here. Then I have a piece of cardstock that I have cut down and this is six inches by eight inches. And I am just going to fold it for my card. So lining it up in the center here. Sorry, I bonked the wire there. Okay, so there's my card. And I am just going to line it up here on my um, Make Arts magnet board, which will help make things line up a bit easier for me. So I am just going to use my magnets here. And then I am just going to quickly bring over my pieces and kind of see how they look. All right, so these are one inch squares that I'm working with. And you'll see here in just a moment why working on this magnet board is, is so useful. So I am just at the moment eyeballing how they fit on this card okay and what I want is I want them to be a little bit above center because your eye kind of sinks with gravity and so um, I am looking here to just align things nicely um, so I'm going to work on the first row here just move these down a little bit I'm going to work on the first row here, and then that's going to be my guide for everything. So I'm just going to quickly line up my ruler here. It doesn't matter which one you're using, if you're using inches or centimeter. What matters to me is that I have the zero in the center of the card, and I know I do because I have five and five here on each side. So then I can quickly say, okay, this is going to line up out here at the floor, and so is that. So then this one needs to center in between those. And that's just a real quick and easy way to line things up. And then I'm going to use my best glue ever from Scrap Perfect. And just by applying a little bit on each piece, and then I'm going to stick them down. I'm going to work with the two outside ones and then I'm just going to kind of eyeball the middle one and you can see here I'm not using much glue at all it isn't necessary because it's a tacky glue it adheres rather quickly and I don't need a lot of it Okay, so that's easy. That's uh, my first row. And then I'm ready to move down to my second row. And what I want to do here is mimic this distance here. And I can measure it. I'm just going to kind of eyeball where it needs to go. Okay, so this is the one I'm lining up closely. And once again, I'm going to use my ruler. as my guide. All right, and then I'm just gonna continue on gluing.
like to share with you a few little design tips. If you'll notice here, my center square is a solid color, and I did that on purpose. And then the darkest square I've put down here in the right bottom corner so that if your eye happens to follow along or looks diagonally across, this is kind of a stopper so that um, you visually stay within the elements. I have this little word, joyful. It could be a stamp. It could be a word. Um, it could be all kinds of different greetings, but I'm going to take this and then just quickly glue this down into my center square and that's why I left it solid so that I could put a little word in there. Um, this is a typewriter word um, from a set that I have in my store and uh, you can see that the cutting isn't perfect here and that's that's kind of the look I'm going for here. So just quickly show you the finished card. You could choose to do more on the inside. You could add stitching, um, stamping, stickers, whatever you'd like. But here is just a quick little easy card for Christmas in July.